episode, do we forget that Jennifer Pedantry is even there? I like her. I actually like Jennifer Pedantry. We all know this stuff with her. With her husband is about to explode later in the season. Do you see next week's? We have Vicky again. We're back on tour. You know who's having a good season? And by good season, I don't mean like you're so exciting and interesting. I mean, like, isn't the goal to just not have the drama be on you? Like, this is like Giselle, Karen. This is like their like wet dream. Heather Dubrow, man, is just like, I mean, have we seen any messiness or exposure? Yeah, the paparazzi. But like, she has had a really good season. Not really having to get too personal about anything. So... Good for you. Uh, do I think Katie's making everything up about uh, Gina? I do. I can't see Gina saying, I'm only using Heather for her real estate connections. That just does not seem like Gina. I love Gina. I get the New York edge. I mean, I don't know. Is Housewives become so boring that I am really sitting here apologizing to Emily and Gina? Because I really, really am. Like, no joke. Um, Alexis, I mean, then, you know, eventually Alexis is going to leave and she has plans with Johnny J. The last scene, the last scene where basically Alexis had this plan and wanted to talk to Shannon and it was just going to say, you know, not apologizing, but girl to girl. And like Alexis goes in for the hog and Shannon doesn't give it to her. And when Shannon says... Alexis, I hear you want to speak to me, but that is not going to happen. Look, my defense of Alexis and Johnny J does not mean, I mean, Shannon is having a great season. I have a total newfound respect for Shannon this season. I think she is handling herself so well, so well. The way that she gracefully sits these meetings, these, these, these confrontations, I think is amazing. And also, I really got to say, I mean, life is not about looks, but man, Shannon is killing it, killing it in the look. She is looking, I think, the best that Shannon has ever looked. Like, in all seriousness, I think she looks fucking great. So overall, I see why people could be bored with this season of Orange County Housewives, but also... I feel this is the job. I feel like they're doing what is expected. I feel like it is a return to form. And I am totally, totally here for this season of Orange County Housewives. Slip it to the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. Not like the best Housewives season in the history of Housewives. But, you know, and by the way, a lot of you have been asking me this question. Uh, do I think that the stuff between Shannon and Alexis, you know, now, I mean, you guys are calling it extortion and yada, yada, yada. Do I think this is rising to the level of toxicity as New Jersey, Teresa and Melissa? Because a lot of you seem to think so. Um, I don't think so. No, this doesn't seem that... Like, there is a world in which when Shannon is over this, I really think there is a world in which her and Alexis could, like, be friends. I don't know about friends, but um, I think get along. I don't know. This, no, this does not run as deep as to, to Risa and Melissa to answer your question. So uh, before we get into some New Jersey for a minute, I just want to talk about watch what happens because I guess the things that John wanted to clear up about why he doesn't want to be muzzled or silenced are, which I thought this was interesting. He said, you know, the whole narrative, which that Shannon is his sugar mama and pays for everything. He says, that's not true. Um, so, okay. I mean, these are two totally different versions of the truth, right? Uh, he says that, uh, Shannon says that he fat shamed her. He never did that. And, uh, he's been disparaged for years. Did everyone watch this? Cause Andy is like, how have you been disparaged for years? We already talked about that. He's not a rapper. He's not want to go by Johnny J. 
Oh, did you see all this on the after show? Alexis has revealed, she has revealed, she will not be Alexis Bellino anymore. She will be Alexis Jansen. AJ all the way, a baby. So Jesus Jugs is be, going to become AJ. Uh, I believe her. You know what's weird, though? I've said this before, and I'm not knocking Alexis, but I said this before. When I slept over her house in 2020, fine. That is four fucking years ago, David. My point is, when I slept at her house, she was so into Drew. Oh, I love, 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 love. I'm forget about me, but what I saw at her house before she was on below deck is exactly how she was with this guy on below deck. You know, the kissing and the this and the that. So to me, what I witnessed in person at her house, it's similar to below deck. It's similar to how she's acting about Johnny J which is why I do think it's too fast. I just think Alexis is like J-Lo. And first I compare her to Erica. And now I'm comparing her to J-Lo. I just think she's one of these girls that like wants to be in love. And I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't like it. I like when someone's independent and stands on their own two feet. So I just feel that's her nature. It's just be careful. I said, I said this like a year ago, nine months, whenever this first started, I said, be careful. I've said this too. I said, this reminds me of when I witnessed this myself. So I don't know. I think she's one of those that just like falls hard and it's all about the man. And I don't know, the little bit setting back the women's movement for me, it's a little just like ugh, damsel in distress waiting for a guy to come along. I actually find John relatively attractive. I don't find him unattractive, believe it or not. I mean, the rumor is he has a huge dick which I also, um, so, uh, there you go. Um, I don't mind him and, uh, that's it. Decent episode. Let's talk about New Jersey for a little bit. So Teresa, I believe this was on her own podcast. I'm really not trying not to give credit. Um, it's just sometimes the sources blend together, but this is from, uh, I think Teresa's own podcast that she was talking and, um, you know, she, of course, said there's no truth to the, the Frank rumor that she's been asked to step down. And, oh, and by the way, one more thing about the OC, one more thing which I find interesting that reminds me of Teresa. Say, I have Teresa on the brain. Alexis is now saying, I don't want to reveal what happens the rest of the season because Andy's going to get mad at me. But trust me, the truth is going to come out and it's going to be a vindication. I mean, we just went through this with Teresa in interviews all season saying she was going to be vindicated, which I guess in her mind is the fact that Margaret called the ex, Vanessa. It wasn't because of uh, Jackie, because, I mean, that's her best friend now. I don't really know if that was a vindication, Teresa. But here we go. I don't really see, but I mean, how many episodes do we have left? Maybe it's a long season. Like, I guess we are. We're on episode 10. So yeah, we could only be maybe halfway.